Sunday morning, the beach all to myself. There should be quite a few fossils here today, washed out by this easterly on the 20th of March, springtime. Another little surprise from the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide. Well, here are some of my little ammonite finds already. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you a big ammonite block. One of the fossil bearing rocks there in the mudslide going out to sea. Let's dig that one out. Well, there you go. You can see quite a piece of fossil wood running down the back of that nodule. Let's give it a cleave with the hammer. How nicely that's splitting. There's a little one there. It's a nice little bit of fossilized crinoid ossicles you can see there. Right, look at this. And there's the nice sea lily stems. Ooh, it, looks, it looks all right with the water, doesn't yeah, it? Lovely, on there? That. Clean up the beauty. There's Mike today out on the beach with Cookie Monster. Look at that. A Stellari nodule in the form of Cookie Monster. Yay. Living ammonites. That's amazing, Mike. Going to put those back in the uh, in the earth, away from the sea. They don't want to be back in the sea, do they? They're not ammonites. Wow. They're fast asleep. Let's follow you back onto the. Oh, look. oh yeah, look. Let's get them back onto the soil. Get them away from the seaside. They look like ammonites, don't they, Mike? Out here along the Jurassic coast with at Mike Harrison's fossils. And it's got quite a nice bit of the botryoidal chalcedony there. And I'm just gonna get that a bit more colourful with the seawater wetting it. Why? He's, he's yeah, I, you up. <laughs> I know he is. <laughs> yeah, oh, lovely that. flat face. There's the, the wood. There's the wood. Running through the middle. Lots of wood running through the wood stone. It's been quite a big sea, isn't it? Yeah, it's not running, bad, is running it? It's running last night. Yeah. Nice flat face to work running through the stone room. So this one of the more people to look after. Do you want to know? Yeah, it's good, good quality material. But it's, uh, it's got a nice it's split on this, front, right down the back. Oh, look, like there's a couple of proms. Nice one there. Nice bit of wood going right down into the base of the wood stone. Nice one there. 
lovely bit of wood, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, nice colour that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and then here, if you pair around it, there's a bump there, Mike. That's yeah. alright, isn't it? It's certainly a little little ammonite yeah. there as well. Yeah. Oh, nice. Green. It's these little bits here. If you get a nice white prom in or something like that. Ah, oh, where is it? It's actually there. Yeah, it's there, it's isn't it? It's a bump. On, just hiding it's a bump there. there. Yeah. It's a dimple there. Yeah, and so over to there, you can see the dimple mark. Oh, it's little baby, little. look at that, look at the quality of it. That sounds a bit loose, that hammerhead. You can hear that, yeah, that, that ring, can't you, where, yeah. it's, where it's a bit loose. I'll have to put a, a wedge in for you. Yes, yeah, broken Oh yeah, look at that. Well, with the tide coming in along the Jurassic Coast, I'm heading back now. And just before I get into Lyme Regis, into town, I wanted to show you a piece I've prepared and make a little prehistoric scene of it for a bit of fun. rock pool here with all the little shells all washing in and here I made a bit of a prehistoric scene at Lyme Regis the ammonite shells here you can see these ones I picked out of a Yellowstone bed imagine those back in the Jurassic all those ammonites there washing up onto the beaches down near the equator at the time. I've lovingly prepared that particular ammonite bed out of that limestone block, a Yellowstone block of ammonite from the Jurassic. Really nice fossils for that particular type of ammonite bed. They're usually really quite sticky to prepare 